here at the University of Notre Dame working with a hurdler. No, he's not one of the university hurdlers. He's really the fastest high schooler in this neck of the woods, so I'm excited to work with him. Surprisingly, the university is open to the public, so I'm gonna take advantage of that. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit nervous not to work with Luke. I'm just afraid we're gonna get kicked out of here. Seems a little bit too good to be true. Well, I'm Luke Huffold. I will be a senior in high school this year. Um, I run the 110 and the 300 hurdles, as well as the 4x4. And uh, going into my senior season, I'm just trying to focus on getting my technique as precise as possible and getting my speed in between the hurdles uh, faster um, so that I can hopefully drop my time and break the sub-14 mark. What do you think you need help with? Endurance throughout the race. Like my technique just gets kind of sloppy and I start uh -huh. making those little micro mistakes towards the end of the race. And then just like little things like balance and posture that don't do like a whole lot, but over 10 hurdles add up to sure. uh, time that a lot of time that could be okay. improved. I had Luke do his usual warm up so I could see what he did. I thought it was pretty cool. Then I set out four hurdles a little shy of race spacing and videoed him running over them. So overall, really, really good. I'll tell you what I like first. That you maintain really good speed. You don't, you're not slowing down much at the hurdle. I like your commitment going into the hurdle. Look good coming off the hurdle. We're gonna put you in the elite category, right? Senior year, we wanna break into the 13s. I'm gonna show you what that's gonna take. So that's a little more elite higher level stuff. I'm gonna look at you coming off this hurdle. So you're touching down on, on the ball of your foot, which is good. By the time you are on your heel, you look like you're up tall. Trail leg looks good, but you're starting to drive it down already. See how it hasn't even rotated all the way around yet? And you can see it, the knee goes down. Okay, and then what I'm looking for is when that foot hits, are those knees together? See how it is right there? Yeah. I would have liked to have seen that about right there. Trail like Okay, here's the next step. And again, I'm looking right there. That looks good. See how your, your shin angle is sort of neutral, meaning your lower leg, your shins are straight up and down and your knees are together. That's good. Next step. Okay, pretty good. See how you're kind of crunched down a little bit? That's not abnormal, but what we want is when you come into this hurdle, you want to get up tall. You want to get up as tall as you can because you want to actually get up on that hurdle so it feels more like you're coming down on that hurdle, right? Yeah, yeah. You don't want to have to have anything that makes you have to jump up. Now what I'm doing is I'm going to look at the way your foot lands here. Did you see that video I did with Alex Chukwukalu? Yeah. He's big in this. So yeah, I, I if, notes if you understood what he was saying, he's talking about this step right here, that when his foot hits down, yeah, he yeah, wants his like shin like here. this, and yours is back. Yours is positive. We want it straight or negative because this is actually a little bit breaking action. So there's a little bit of speed loss there. And then when you go over that hurdle, I like the way the lead leg looks, it does seem to be swinging around from the outside a little bit, but this looks good right here. This looks really good. I like the way that you've already bent your knee a little bit. That looks good. You're low over that hurdle. Trail leg is in a really nice spot at this point. And then when you do touch down here, that's not bad. And then boom, that's pretty good. Your arm is too far behind you though. And then let's look at the angle where your leg touches down. It's almost straight up and down. So that's pretty good. You need to work on your, what we call the cut step. And that's yeah. the last step before we go over that hurdle. What you're looking for is as you're running, you want that last step to almost feel short. Yeah. So you almost wanna fall forward on your face. That's gonna keep you low and put you over that hurdle low. Also tightening up your arms. We want that lead arm you want them to stay bent, go forward, pull back. And then also your trail arm seems sort of passive, right? I want you to really work on pulling it through. The way we're gonna do this is we're gonna shorten the hurdles a little bit so you don't have to go so full speed and we're gonna work on the steps. A lot of the stuff I'm working on today is right out of my hurdle 301 program because Luke is more at an elite level. 101 takes you a beginner to just get proficient. Hurdle 201 takes a person from there and gets them to where they're really fast over hurdles. But there's a whole nother set of skills that an athlete needs to learn who wants to be elite. And that's the stuff that I'm touching on here today. Good, very good, very good. This time, keep that going the same way. 
but now you're going to add on to your focus your trail arm. You're not going to let it open up. You're going to go back and then pull it through, pull it through, pull it through. And as you pull it through, hips are coming with it, okay? So you come up to running like this. There you go. Nice, nice. That looks really good. It's funny, just a few little things and you're already looking different. Now, I know we're kind of rushing it a bit, but we're trying to beat this weather. I'm gonna speed up through this, but it was basically a lot of talking about how to sprint between the hurdles in order to maintain speed. If this is something you need, you should check out my hurdling 201 and 301. Because this was new to Luke, I had him try it first without hurdles just to see how it feels. Very good. That's it. That's perfect. That's good sprint technique. So we want to take that and we want to apply it here. Not every high schooler has this luxury, but when you get to the level where you are and you're that good, you can start focusing on the even better stuff. Gotcha. Okay, so let's do it. Good arms and popping. Things are going really well, so I decided to get another video of him so I can check it out in slow motion. Okay, I really like this first step coming off this hurdle. That looks great. The second step also looks very good. Knees are close together. And now for your cut step, that looks great. Your shin's straight up and down. I like your direction into the hurdle. I can still see that your lead leg is swinging around a little bit because I can see the underside of your shoe right here. We need to get that swinging straight through. Your arms look good at this point. This is good position right here. And coming off the hurdle, this looks fantastic. Your heel hasn't touched down and your shin has already rotated into a negative angle. So that's fantastic. Actually, your heel never touches down, so that's pretty exceptional. This position right here looks very good and fast. And then bringing your trail leg down, that looks really great. So good. Yeah. It's now good. keep in mind, we're pinched in right. um, and it's not full speed, but that's pretty good. I say we put it back to where we were in the first run through. Let's try it again after just half hour of drills yeah. and see how you do. Now full speed whenever you're ready. Right. Okay, how do you feel about that? Good. Felt faster. And it's kind of hard to focus on like multiple things at once. Um. Yes, that's great that you brought that up. So the way it works is, let's say, blah, 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 more philosophy. If you're interested in this kind of stuff, you could check it out in my Hurdling 201. You're right, it's gonna take a little while, but you're doing great. Okay, let's look at your first step. That looks really good. Second step also looks very good. Now let's look at that last step. Not quite what we want, but not bad. Still a little bit out in front of you on your heel. And again, you have that trail arm hanging kind of low there. Really nice here over the hurdle. And when you come down, again, very nice position with the lower leg. Have no breaking action here. This is really great position. The trail leg looks great and comes down for a very nice first step. So great job with this. Yeah, it definitely looks faster. Mm -hmm. It does. These are not usually the type of thing that a person fixes in a half an hour. I think you've done really well for the short time we work together. Yeah. And so if you keep working on it, I think you're going to have a really great senior year. Well, we finished that session. Didn't get rained on like I thought and surprisingly didn't get kicked out. Okay, Luke, so tell me what are your thoughts? I definitely feel faster and I know like what to pinpoint uh, for my workouts and for uh, coming this next season. I'm pretty impressed. Um, what I saw is somebody with, with already had good technique, but just with a little bit of feedback, polished it up really quickly and started looking really elite, like I had mentioned earlier. So Thank to you. me, that speaks well on how, what your potential could be this year. Mm -hmm. um, so if we combine that with you having a good um, strength, speed, power program um, between now and next season, um, put that together, lights out. I mean, you can have a really, really exciting senior year. I'm and excited. I know you're thinking about maybe running in college. Yes. Definitely get you into the 13s, which is going to make a lot of colleges very interested in talking to you. That's good. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Okay, sure. cool. All right. Thanks. Thank you. If you want to learn more about what I did here with Luke or anything about hurdling, you can go to my website at acemethodcoaching.com. I'll leave a link in the notes below also.